What's up everyone? Kate here from Ebby Tennis. Hope you guys are doing great today. Happy New Year to you guys. It is 2023. We got some awesome content coming your way. Seems like you guys actually really liked our last video, which was the top five tennis strings used in college tennis. So if you guys haven't seen that, make sure you check that out. We got lots of good content from you guys, coming for you guys. Uh, we got this video today, but then also in the future, we got a Surf Plus One, the Chasing 13. It's coming your way, and I'm so excited for you guys to watch it and tell me what you guys think. But today's video is gonna be what I am looking forward to in 2023, everything tennis edition, pretty much. So there's gonna be you know channel stuff, stuff for me personally, equipment, what I think is gonna happen on ATP and WTA tours, it's, it's all coming for you guys right now, so stick around to watch it. So the very first thing, let's start off with the Match Point Tennis, MP Tennis channel. Chasing 13 is not stopping. It's been a couple weeks since we've uploaded the last uh, episode, but it's coming. We're gonna be recording it soon. I'm just waiting to get back to school to start that, um, you know, that video, and then that's really gonna take off because our season is gonna start and there's gonna be lots of stuff to tell you guys about from all my matches, the dual season, etc. Next thing is we have a goal to get 10,000 subs by the end of 2023. So if you want to help us out, which I hope you do, like and subscribe down below. It really helps the channel and it helps us give you guys better content. And like I just touched on, the other thing I'm very excited about is the college season. So traveling, maybe I can do some kind of vlog stuff for you guys. If you guys are interested in that, let me know because I can kind of make those videos priorities. The next thing I'm very excited about in 2023 is the new equipment that is coming out. There is so many goodies that are coming our way, guys. Like, I cannot wait. So if we start with rackets, we have the new gravity that's coming out soon. We have the new Radical that is coming out soon. These paint jobs have been, I, I don't think leaked, but kind of teased. They are so nice. You guys know I use my Head Extreme Tour, so I like head rackets. So these rackets will be demoed on the channel, I hope, if I can get them. So I'm very excited to demo these two head rackets. And then another racket that is not a head racket that I'm so excited about is the new Babolat Pure Era Rafa Edition, which is actually his racket, kind of. So you know how they used to do the RF Pro Staff Special Edition for Roger? Well, they're gonna do the same one for Rafa. So I cannot wait to demo that one and show you guys what I think about that as well. There's also the Babolat, uh, the replacement for the VS, which is now just gonna be called uh, Pure Aero 98, so I'm excited to review that updated version because you know those kind of Bablot 98 square inch rackets are kind of in my area of rackets that I want to try and might fit my game, so always nice trying those rackets. If we get into some shoe stuff, the new Nike Vapor Pro 2 is coming out or is kind of out already, along with the Nike Vapor Pro 11. So I don't know what's going on there. Maybe you guys can help me out with that one. They made two different shoes. So interesting to see that, I guess. But then I also heard rumors that they're gonna re-release the Nike Vapor 9.5, which is the legendary Nike Vapor shoe that Roger wore for years. So might have to get that one because I used to like that shoe as well. If we jump to Adidas, they're coming out with their new Cybersonic, which is supposed to be kind of like a lightweight cross shoe, which, it's gonna be like a, a vapor challenger for Adidas, which will be interesting as well. So super excited on the equipment side. We've got some good rackets, some good shoes coming out. Excited to show you guys that stuff. Jumping on to more of the pro tour with the ATP and WTA, there are some players that I'm very excited to watch this year. On the men's side, of course, I'm always excited to watch Rafa and Novak. Rafa's gonna try and defend his title here at the Aussie Open. Do I think he's gonna do it? I don't know. I think uh, the conditions are very tough for him here. I think they favor Novak more, but it would be it would be awesome to see Rafa win. Love watching Rafa win all the time on any surface. Novak, touched on him a little bit there. Just what a tennis player, I don't even know what to say. Like, he's just so good. You can learn so much from him. That's why I enjoy watching him. 
And then we can kind of go down the line. We have like Carlos Alcaraz, who won the US Open last year, Holger Rune, who won Paris just at the end of the year in 2022. These guys are the what, what is gonna be the face of tennis. So I'm very excited to see how they kind of handle that in 2023. And then of course, Nick Kyrgios. You know, he had a, an amazing season throughout the whole year last year and started off with a bang in 2022 with winning the doubles at the Aussie Open. So can he put on a show again for us? Another guy player that I'm very excited about watching is Marcos Giron from the United States out of LA, UCLA alum. He is kind of on tour with Carousel, who runs the My Tennis HQ channel, and they're kind of documenting that. He just had a big win against Richard Gasquet last night. As I'm recording this, it's actually January 1st. So excited to see how his season goes and to watch them document that as well. So that's for the guy's side. For the girl's side, I have some very unique picks, very different compared to the guys. Number one is not that much of a surprise, but two and three are. So number one is Iga Fiontek. Love her footwork, love her grit, love the way she speaks. Uh, I'm excited to see how she does on tour this year, see if she can get a couple more grand slams under her belt uh, because she just dominates out there. Next, we have Jeannie Bouchard. What a name that we have not heard that much about. I don't really talk about her on the channel that much, but she is back and she is healthy and she's training and she played in the Dubai World Tennis. She's been around a lot of high level tennis recently and it would be really nice to see her play well. You know, I'm a Canadian, as you guys know, she's Canadian, so always hoping for Jeannie. Hopefully she can have a good year this year. And then last but not least, Venus Williams. I have a soft spot for Venus. Very unlike Serena, I'm not that big of a Serena fan, but I do like Venus. She's still playing professional tennis at like 41, 42 years old. Like that's incredible. So kind of interested to see if she gets some big wins under her belt because that's very impressive and I can really respect that. So those are some players that I'm excited to watch this year. And then also they got the new Netflix documentary that is coming out as well. So that's going to highlight everything that happened the last, you know, months and maybe years on tour. I'm not sure the specifics on that, but excited for that documentary for sure. So that is going to be it for today's video, guys. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Remember, we're on our way to 10,000 subs now. That's our goal for 2023. So we will catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe.